Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. Today we follow Ask Elmo as he once again audits a post office, but he shows how willfully ignorant he is on the subject of Poster 7. So sit down, relax, and enjoy the show. What's going on guys? Auditing America. We're in Texas and we're at the United States Post Office. We're going to do a First Amendment audit. I'm out with Mr. Manco. Shout outs to Mr. Manco. Shout outs to Mr. Hands over here in Texas, making sure we stand up and protect our rights. Let's see how it goes. Let's see if they respect Poster 7, the rules and regulations from the Post Office. I know you can read Poster 7, but your comprehension skills are way off when it comes to that. Either that or you're a total fraud. No, I'm just taking a video. Specifically, what does you know me mean, sir? Does that mean you're gonna react in a violent way because somebody taking a picture of you? What does that you know me means? I don't know what that means, Mr. Mr. Vincent? Is it Vincent? How's it how's it going, brother? Are you the are you the supervisor here? Are you the supervisor? Hello? Sir? Can I ask you a question? Sir? Now why you videotaping? Well, if, sir, we have, the, the thing is, we have the right to video record here. Yes, you do. You, so, you do. So why, why would you want me to waive my right to video record if you're not doing anything wrong? I mean, he said, you, he called you and he said, you know me. I mean, did I come here disrespecting you in any way, Vincent? No. What's your name, sir? Sir? Sir, what's your name? Okay. What's going on here? <laughs> okay, so I'd love to speak to the manager. You've got the manager, but we're, we're not having a conversation today. Sir, imagine me, imagine me owning, going going to the supermarket. That's disrespectful. Imagine, disrespectful. By the way, there's thousands watching. Oh, I'm so scared. Um, imagine me going to the supermarket and they just tell me I'm not speaking to you when I ask for, hey, where can I find the rice? Or where can I find the chicken? And they just tell me that. You ask me that question, I direct you in the right direction, sir. All right, so I'm asking you what's going on, what's going on with the, what's going on with the attitude from Vincent? What's what? There's not an attitude. Yes, there is. He said, you know me. What does you know me mean? You need extra insurance, we're not going down this road. I am. I am, because if if you're saying words that may be threatening to me, yes. We're not. Yeah. Nobody is threatening. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nobody is threatening you, sir. <laughs> okay, so what's your name then, for the record? Because I did get catch it on video, so. She know me. And we. Know me. <laughs> they know me. I've been here thirty years. They know me. Don't you know me? There you go. I, know me. I don't know. She doesn't sound too convincing, but <laughs> they know me. that's fine. And if you've been here 30 years, Mr. you should Lewis, be, you, you should be respectful. Ass Elmo, don't you realize that respect is a reciprocal process? I give you respect. You give me respect. There is no one way street about this. 
It's like the old computer maxim, garbage in, garbage out. If you feed somebody a load attitude, expect to get that same thing in return. And all you've done so far is give these people attitude. Oh, this is rude. Go. This is rude service. You see? You're not literally going. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. I have it on video. You see, you guys can lie all you want on camera. But guess what? There's yes, you are. Okay. Tell me, you know me doesn't does that mean does that mean something? That's what I'm. No, sir. Okay, so. Did you cash back? You don't look 50. To how how long you been working here? 30 years. I look good, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> so why are you complaining about video, bro? You see? <laughs> Oh, I got you on that one. Yeah, I look good. <laughs> I get that all the time. Well, there you go, bro. All you're going to get is uh, more more people liking you. That's it. Are you the postmaster? Are you the postmaster, sir? Man, I wish I had a job like that. Well, I don't have to answer to nobody. Work for the government. You don't got to answer to nobody. Oh, boy, are you ever wrong. Government employees do answer to their supervisors above them, you moron. I mean, clearly, have you ever held a job in your life? <laughs> Imagine going to Burger King saying, can I have number one? And the cashier's just ignoring you. Well, when you go into a federal uh, facility, a federal building, your rights should be protected more than anywhere else. But, but you get here. And, this is a federal building. This is a federal building. This guy, so, you're so funny. If something happens here right now, you have to call the, uh, the postal police, which is uh, a federal agency. There is a postal service police corps, but there are only 500 members, and they have to do duties such as guarding the major facilities, detective work that includes fraud that is against the U.S. Postal Service, and other crimes related to that. So, smaller facilities like this one have to rely on the local police force for protection. Yes. Thank you. Yes. You don't even know where you work at, sir. <laughs> so if this was if this was like UPS or FedEx or another company, yeah, I can't be here because they don't work for us. You guys are federal employees. You are a federal employee, sir. The, and who runs the postal service? The postal, the the federal government runs the postal service, sir. Yes, yes, yes. What, what, why were you there last time? <laughs> why were you there last time? Sir, you need help? I'll help you right here. <laughs> he's being, he, he's triggered, bro. Why are you so triggered, bro? <laughs> He's being triggered for no reason. He's pointing his big ass finger at my face. <laughs> 15 minutes later. That was just another 10 minutes of him ranting about the postal workers, about how rude they were to him. Yeah, right. But anyway, I wanted to skip ahead to the poster seven part and show you how dishonest he is about that. Everything's all good. Where's poster seven? Look, right here, guys. Easily findable. Poster seven right here regarding photographs for news, advertising, and commercial purposes. Photographs for news purposes may be taken in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except we're prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. And there's the mistake you made, turd bag. You showed the poster and you read it with your finger on it. And I can zoom in on that and show you where you messed up. Still not clear yet, dude? Well, I'll put a clear copy of it down and you can read it aloud for us. Photographs for news purposes may be taken 
in entrances, lobbies, foyers, corridors, or auditoriums when used for public meetings, except were prohibited, okay? It's not pro prohibited here. There are a number of things you glossed over in that. You didn't even complete the whole damn paragraph, and what you did read, you glossed over. The most important part that you did read, but totally ignored, was the part when used for public meetings. And there are no public meetings going on right there. So you don't have the authorization to do that without the installation head, which covers the last half of the paragraph you did not read. I will read the last part of the paragraph for you then. Prohibited by official signs or security force personnel or other authorized personnel or a federal court order or rule, other photographs may be taken only with the permission of the local postmaster or installation head. To those who are actually watching this video now, is he willfully ignorant or just plain old dishonest? Put a one for dishonest, put a two for willfully ignorant.